Hello there, this is Dave Allen for Mac 20 Questions and today we're going to have a look at Motion. So the first thing we need to do is to go to the file menu and get the project browser started up. This is what you see first of all when you open the program. Although usually when you uh, start doing this you'll get it so uh, that it's um, a lot smaller. It probably looks something like that. This is the project browser. Usually sort of ends up something like that in the middle of the screen. Let's get a new project started. Well there's a number of different types of projects you can do. You can do a Motion project. You can do a Final Cut effect, you can do a Final Cut generator, a Final Cut transition, and a Final Cut title. Now this Final Cut title one is one I used when I was doing some editing of a title that was already in Final Cut and it took me out into Motion to get it changed and make some things different to it so I could bring it into Final Cut just the way that I wanted it. And this Final Cut generator, we've used one of those already when we used the Crumple Pop video thing that uh, splits the screen up into three spaces in fact that one is here in this list here and if I want to do some editing with it I can do it with that one there look so what we're going to do today is we're just going to do have a look at a motion project so we're going to double click on that there okay so here we are in the file browser let's see what we can do to have things started and things happening within motion let's do an animation We'll do an animation with some keyframes. So let's choose an object to work with, Commander Z. Let's drag and drop Commander Z into this group here. Okay, so we're going to have this so that it is going to fly across the screen, as superheroes tend to do. So what we need to do first of all is we need to zoom out a wee bit. So there we are zoomed out and we're going to move him so that he is down off the left bottom here of the screen. And we'll do it so that at this point here, is going to start coming into the screen. So the way to start doing this is to go into our inspector and go to properties. And we're going to start by putting in a keyframe here for position. And we'll also do one for scale. Let's turn on the record for the keyframes. We'll have it so that by the end of the uh, movie, this particular movie is going to be uh, zoomed on the other side of the screen there. So. Let's, we've got that turned on. That's going to put him to where he's going to go to be. And you see we're getting a little red line there to tell us we've got some movement happening there. And also we're going to change the scale of him so that he's flying off into the distance. So he's going to be about 18% of uh, his starting size there. So turn that off. Go back to our start again of our movie. Press play. And there he goes. We've done an animation using keyframes. How easy was that then? Bloody marvellous. No problem at all. Could do it in my sleep even. But there is another way of doing this and it could even be easier than using keyframes. So what we're going to do is we're going to stop that plane first of all. Let's press pause on that one there. And we're going to go back to our Commander Z and we're going to delete him. So there you go. He's gone. Go back to our file browser. And this time we're going to drag him and drop him in again. Put him in th this group here. So we've got him in the group. Again, what we're going to do is we're going to start him at the bottom here. We're at the start and Captain Z is down at the bottom left hand corner. Out of shot at present. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to the library instead this time. Let's go to the library. And we're going to choose behaviours. And the behaviour that I want is a basic motion behaviour and it is one called throw. And I'm going to drag it and drop him onto Commander Z. So you can see straight away that we've got the HUD, the heads up display come up there. And it's given us the chance to do some movement with our object. So what we're going to do is we're going to get it so that it's going to go off in the same direction as we did before. So let's take this here, drag that off there. You see our line's already going off in the right direction there. That's that done. Let's press play. Now, it wasn't that easy. Well, as you can see, what happened was he got towards the end there and he didn't go quite far enough and it started again at the beginning of the movie. So we want him to go a bit further. So what we're going to do here is we're going to have to do a bit of zooming. And we'll zoom in. And this time we're going to move it so that it goes further. As you can see, I can make changes to this while the video is still running or the animation is still running. So that's pretty handy. And now it goes all the way off the screen. So let's just press pause on that. So that's just two ways of doing some animation really easy. One was to use keyframes and the other one is to use throw. Easy or what? Let's have a look at something else to do with motion in another video. 
keep an eye out and don't forget to subscribe so that each time I put a new video out you're going to be the first to hear about it. Bye bye now. So thanks for clicking on the like in YouTube there. So why don't you subscribe to Wizard Gold Mac 20 Questions and every time I've got a new video out you're going to be the first to know about it. Bye bye now.